Jeff and I back up the hay. We've done a few trips just recently, and I did a trip up here with Sam as well. So this video is all about how to fish one of the more complicated river systems around Weeper, the hay. So let's get after them. You're uh, pretty well focused, Jeff. Well, I got gotcha. you. The hay. It is one of the more complicated river systems around here, isn't it? It is. It's uh, very shallow. Lots of fingers. Um, but deep, just where we are. We're, we're in the where where all the fingers sort of join, and where we're fishing in nine meters of water here. Right would be the palm of the <laughs> of the, the, the five or so fingers. Now you and I are in dispute about this. I reckon. There's six fingers, four main fingers and two little ones, but you're a five finger man, you just got a bite. <laughs> but um, no matter which way you look at it, I'll show you on the map here, there's four main fingers. The first finger is, it looks like there's two fingers, but this one here is too shallow to move up into, so it sort of joins the first finger. And the first finger is really good for barra, it's got heaps of draining creeks in it and stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh. They keep coming out and tapping them. They're not hitting it. They even got pants. Do you mind getting the net for me, please, sir? See if this one stays connected. This is Barra hook up number five. <laughs> and all the others got off. Right under his chin, so he should be right. Lovely. He's lying a little right, didn't he? Oh, that's a good barra. Dirty. Net in the water, mate, and I'll drop the mid. Hey! Coming up to be legal, I'd say. I'd say it'd be legal for sure. Just right down the back, eh? Jeez. <laughs> Buried it. There you go, that's better. That's a A River Barra. It'd be legal size for sure. He's about 70 odd centimetre fish, so put them on the ruler to check him out. But uh, he's a nice fish. We got a couple of fish for a feed, so we're going to let him go anyway. But hey, <laughs> very happy with that. This one's got the Hilton on it, hasn't it? And the Hilton's full of rock bars, the Hilton finger. I'll show you why we call it the Hilton finger. This is a place that needs to be respected, so don't go there and trash it or anything like that. The people that own this look after it and spend a lot of money on it. But the Hilton finger, rock bars are awesome. A couple of creeks that are a bit dodgy to go into when the tide's low, so be real careful, because there's even rock bars in the mouths of some of these creeks. Grabbed by something, it looks like he's grabbed by something with teeth. Get a couple of marks on him, but um, let me go. Sam just dropped the barrel. Golden to the egg. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Big belly splat. Yeah, 
are fishing for messy barrel and ten pound line. Your roof fell flat. Oh, <laughs> we're even supposed to be catching barrel. back in and then he went at it again and then yeah, nah. there he is there he is I know he's fucking playing with me I've just stuck the hook in my own lip in your own lip lip <laughs> oh see that's karma right there sister <laughs> And then the next one over, this one here, one of my favourite ones for uh, chasing barra again, but not a lot of rock bars in the third finger either. But we fish the fourth finger a fair bit, don't we? Yeah, lots of little drains along the way. Lots of little drains for barra. Mm. It's closed barra season just at the moment, so we're not hunting barra. But you know, working the edges and working the rock bars, we do get the odd barra, but we're not particularly hunting them. We're more fishing rock bars. And I like the fourth finger for rock bars. Yeah, that especially... This one here, early morning session we did a couple of sessions ago. Yep. And we smacked a heap of finger mark yeah. and we went to really big lures. And this experiment is quite interesting. Small lures, smacked a heap of fish. And what happened when we went to big lures? Just check this out. Morning, sir. Fish on. Nice work, Jeff. Little finger. There's one. <laughs> A bit bigger than that. Little grunt that we'll catch him before. Yeah. We might have to drive up to that school of finger mark again, man. Eh? Not oh, this one That feels like a bit of fish. Much better fish. Warm. Little fingery. No, oh, they're tough one, but look at it. You ever see tarp on flicking around on the surface like that? It looks like they're feeding on the surface, but sink your lure all the way down the bottom, and you'll pick them up on the bottom. Yep, there's one. Double hook up. You got a finger? Mm. Oh, so have I. Finger mark feeding underneath the top one. Yeah, look at that. Nice. What have we got here, mate? Oh, <laughs> there he goes. Oh, he came back to it. 
Good old tiny one. And when it comes to jigging the rock bars, the technique you use is so important. Knowing when the lure's on the bottom and keeping in contact with it so you can keep it out of the rocks is vital. So you'll not only catch fish, but you'll avoid snags. So, oh, oh missed it. So I'll take you through the technique on how to catch finger mark in particular from the rock bars on little soft plastics. Plenty of rock under us. Just gonna let that lure sink all the way down to the bottom. And the line will get a big slack bow in it when it's on the bottom. Oh, get a bite on the way down like that. I know I had a bite then because the line just flickered as it was falling down the bottom. So had a bit of a bow in it. And when the line goes flick like that, I know a fish has grabbed hold of it like that. And another little fella, but it's a good way to hone your technique in anyway. A bit bigger. But it's just a fisher cast. There's so many finger marks on this rock bar. And all different sizes. We've got a decent one spawning and plenty of little ones. The technique that Jeff and I use when we're jigging the rock bar is we just put a 1/6 ounce jig head on with a little soft plastic, whether it be a, we're using golf, but sometimes we use dead man's as well. And um, yeah, there's slowly just lift the plastic off the bottom and when you notice it on the bottom, just do a little lift off. And even what Sam does, she lifts it off and swims it for a few meters and she catches quite a few fish doing that. So this is only a little tiny one, but there's all different size ones sitting on this rock bar. So you've got to go through a few little ones to get the big ones. Oh, that's a big jack. <laughs> Upgrading lure size. That's a cracking jack. So, mate, how'd you catch him? Well, made a change. As we discussed, we uh, just upgraded things. That was my first cast with that fella, too. So you got him on a greeny chartreuse yeah. kind of colour. That's a fuse doctor. Yeah, okay, yeah. The fuse, F U Z E lures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah nice. Know That's a good jack. Oh yeah, I like that. First fish on the big diesel minnow. A little cod about the same size as the lure. So yeah, little little fish eat big lures. No, I prefer big fish eat them. It's all that seems to be interesting is big lure. For me, anyway. Certainly the little three inch or four inch gulps that we were using were smacking fish. And since changing, haven't got much. <laughs> so as you saw there, we went to, went to bigger lures and didn't do any good. So you really got to match the hatch. So you, those little small curly tails or prawns and stuff like that, in the wet season like we are now, all those prawns are coming out of the rivers and creeks and those finger mark are just gorging themselves on them. So when we went for the bigger ones, even though Jeff got that crack and jack, we didn't really do too, too good on the bigger lures.